This is America. And uh, I'm Dominique. Also go by Neek for short. My gamer tag is Neekel. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on right now. And uh, I feel like I couldn't make another video uh, without kind of saying something. Uh, you know, I don't have that many followers or whatever. But uh, I, feel like I, I feel like I had to say something. Maybe it'll reach somebody. Um, <laughs> um, you, know, you, you kind of see everything going on in the news. Some people are acting like it's new. It's, it's not new. It's been going on for a long time. Um, uh, I felt like my tipping point last week I read a comment and the lady said uh, you know they're questioning the black lives matter they, they said all lives matter and um, I don't think they know that like that movement is pretty much saying all lives matter but I feel like America historically has treated black lives lower um, as a lesser like human you know um, historically so when we say black lives matter we figure if we say you know even the lowest of the low is equal to the highest of the high everybody should be treated equally um, that, that's what that movement's about to me and I think she also wrote uh, that uh, black people wouldn't get harassed if they didn't dress like a thug uh, that one kind of pushed me over too that's like saying a lady shouldn't get raped because she should she dressed promiscuous or whatever uh, you know, nobody deserves to die or be raped or be a victim uh, of any crime. Um, and I feel like it's kind of lopsided towards minorities. Um, I've had personal experiences, uh, of course. Um, I, I've been pulled over <laughs> many times. Uh, I think one of the earliest memories where I feel like, you know, as I'm older, I feel like it just wasn't right. Um, I was riding with my dad in El Camino, and that's like a, you know, late 80s or 80s car, maybe late 70s um, car, and, um, you know, we get pulled over, um, police say get out of the car, and I'm 13 at this point, you know, 13 year old, uh, and I didn't really get a lot of cool shoes back then, I remember that year was the first time I had Jordans, so that was, that was a real highlight for me, and, um, I remember them getting out the car and separating us, you know. Dad was in the front of the car, and I was somewhere in the back of the car. And uh, they, they started searching my pockets, asking if I had drugs or weapons. I was, you know, like, no. Um, then they, they had me take my shoes off. They took my shoes off, started looking for drugs in my shoes. Uh, they uh, went to my groin area, looking for drugs. Not only my pockets, but seeing if I hid drugs in my underwear. You know, and when you're 13, you're like, you know, is this dude supposed to be touching my balls? <laughs> uh, you know, it wasn't funny back then, but uh, you, you question these things. But, you know, they're the law, they're the authority, so you just kind of respect it. Because uh, I feel like if you get out of line in any way, you know, it could go uh, poorly. And, you know, I, you know, I know this growing up. So, you know, eventually, you know, the, you know, my dad's a bell bondsman or whatever. But, uh you know at that point in time but I guess the whole thing with the arrest you know once it's all said and done with we're like you know why did we get pulled over and they said because we had a dim tag light you know you know we looked at the tag light <laughs> it's a car from the 80s you know they didn't have LEDs back then but I was pretty sure they pulled it over because they were profiling you know certain type of people drive certain type of cars um, I got pulled over many times um, <laughs> I remember driving a Cadillac Broham, you know, with 17 inch rims on it. It was dad's, you know, I didn't like driving. I'm more of a sports car person. But, uh, you know, I used to drive up certain areas and get pulled over all the time. So it made you uh, kind of think that, uh, you know, there's just, they're just profiling, but so you get used to it, you know. Life or death situations, you know, every time you pull, get pulled over, you feel like your life might be threatened. So you got to act a certain way and calmly so as not to scare the person with the gun <laughs> um, that might end your life um, yeah I think change needs to come I mean there, these days there's more cameras and filming you know the atrocities that are happening in America um, I've always been a person to try to keep it positive um, keep it rolling um, you know usually I greet people it's usually with a smile um, <laughs> uh, you know, crack jokes. I know uh, 
and I've, I've seem like I've seen this happen so much you kind of get numb to it because I feel like I was with a friend um, from Arkansas we were playing Pokemon trading Pokemon at night and then some people called the police on us as we're trading in a park parking lot you know it was probably 15 minutes after dusk and they're they're walking the trail at that time uh, by the nearby park and uh, you know the police roll up on his bright lights talking about we're looking for some baddies <laughs> and I was just like you know if I was a baddie, I'd be back in the bushes, you know, you know, strike where nobody can see you, not not under a lamp light by your car, you know. I know it's possums and other random creatures out there, <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, you know, my friend was pissed, but you know, me, I guess I'm, maybe I'm getting numb to it, to the fact it was just like, you know, it's, it's <laughs> I'd say it's normal, but that's, that's how it kind of feels, uh, you know, at this point in time. Um, but, you know, I end up driving him home because he lives in that neighborhood. I end up walking, uh, driving him home just because, you know, didn't want him to get messed with. Um, definitely need some changes um, going on. Maybe some screening. Uh, and I'm not, nothing against, like, cops or anything. I'm, I've never been one of those, you know, stereotypes, you know, think call out like a whole group because of a couple people. Um, but definitely some things need to change. Um, and like I said, I know this is usually like a gamer tech channel. But I feel like I couldn't make another video without saying something. Um, you know, because <laughs> historically, you know, things have been going on. You know, you can look up the names, the, the, the highlights, you know, Emmett Till, you know, Martin Luther King. You know, things that spark some changes to some extent. You know, Rodney King was one. You know, clear video footage of what happened. Officers were charged but not convicted, if I recall right. And I think that's kind of what prompted some riots because I think Trevor Noah said it kind of best. He said, uh, I feel like we have this social contract and um, you know, you're gonna do things that are benefit society, you know. Um, the people that are supposed to be enforcing the law should be held to the higher standard because they're enforcing the law and should be held accountable when they do things wrong. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of where we're at right now, you know, there's some charges being brought against people, but, you know, convictions is what we're looking for, um, because, you know, if it's the other way around, yeah, that's usually what happens, you know, look at the prison population, it's usually high population minority, um, which is sad, um, I think there needs to be love out there. there needs to be uh, education. Uh, new people in leadership. So go vote. Um, definitely needs to be some changes. Um, and I think Tupac said it. I play a clip, but uh, he said, "There's war on the. There's war in the Middle East. There's war on the streets. Uh, but there's no war on poverty." <laughs> there's a war on drugs and he said so the police can bother me and uh, that kind of hit me because I feel like <laughs> when I got pulled over that instance you know with my dad it was <laughs> they're looking for drugs they're looking for people to deal drugs you know illegal drugs you know marijuana <laughs> things of that nature and it's funny because right now we're in a time where it's starting to be legalized but there's still people behind bars that had a probably like an ounce of weed and got to serve 10 years where <laughs> there was somebody that had probably manslaughter or some other violent offense or out early <laughs> um whatever for whatever reason that is you know so yeah i guess they go vote um <laughs> black lives do matter um yeah I, I, that's pretty much what i got um I feel like I had to say something. Um, um, I had to clear my head yesterday. Did a hike. Well, you know, Oklahoma, we don't have like big mountains or anything. But I did a hike yesterday, kind of clear my head. Eight miles. Um, and, uh, you know, I had a hot, I had a water bottle. Um, but, you know, an hour in, it's hot. You know, I was, I was ill prepared, so to speak. <laughs> So it was one of those things, those last like couple miles, um, you know, in the sun, because it, it took us about four, four or five hours, uh, 97 degrees, Ooh, it was hot, um, <laughs> kind of pushed, pushed me to my limits, you know, 
Um, you know, I had an old gamer friend, Mustafa. You know, redefined guild, black hand server, <laughs> World of Warcraft. He said uh, he thought I was kind of one of the best players he's ever seen. I think the reason he said it was because, um, you know, I had I had not a lot of mess ups, so to speak, mistakes. You know, when we're fighting or battling or whatever we're doing. Um, and I think the reason for that because I never kind of buckle under the pressure. Like I keep going until like you know I can't go anymore. And uh, I don't get emotional when it's like, you know, your character's getting low, about to die, or the raid's about to die. Because I feel like I've been more in those pressure situations from, you know, near-life incidents. I'm not, I'm not saying just police, you know. <laughs> you know, I was a kid, got into things. There were some close calls. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> um, but not only could I handle my own under pressure, it was... Uh, it's always seeking improvement, you know. Um, always trying to learn and improve at what you're doing. So in the games, I'm so used to um, picking up on things. You know, I'm always reading, you know. Any little angle or tip. So I usually go back and try to give that back to people and help them out. Because I figure, you know, as a group as a whole, we'll all get better if I can share this information. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been that way with Pokemon Go. Harry Potter, Wizards United, you know, anytime there's tips, you know, I usually share them. Um, some people ask me to make videos, that's kind of where some of the videos came, but I feel like I'm always doing a lot of things, so I don't make a lot of videos. Uh, but but when I do, I try to be, like, helpful and, you know, improving. Um, some people just kind of want to see the things that I have, because, how do I say it, maybe I'm getting to points where they can't reach in the game. Um, I always, and it's like that when I travel in life too. Like I've been to multiple countries, uh, traveled a decent bit, and went to some decent places that most people haven't had a chance to get to, or probably will ever go. So you know, when I get the chance to take pictures, I usually do 3D photos, uh, photos of you know food, of course, I like taking pictures of food, but pictures of scenery. I usually do 3D photos, so it's like you're there and you can see that area. You know, I, I upload it to Google pretty sure I have like 25 27 million views just on Google Photos and some photos are brought down because the places have been closed um, um, so YouTube yeah um, yeah like I said um, <laughs> help one another treat each other equally you know encourage love you know uh, not fear try to educate some someone if you can help help someone out you know um, you know, donating's good for certain causes, but uh, in other cases, you know, if you're fed up, you know, step up, become a, you know, go go to the political area, you know, <laughs> be a local district attorney, you know, um, you know, governor, mayor, um, local representative of a school board, any board, um, you know, and make that change from from the top, you know, get to the top and make that change. Uh, definitely have to work together um, we I believe as a human race we all are um, work better together um, I feel like when you see these sci-fi movies Star Wars um, and of course there's a battle between light and dark in that one but for the majority when people are on ships they're working together even though they're like different species uh, Star Trek you know not really a Trekkie but you know they're all together on that ship uh, working together for common causes research you know finding out what's beyond like SpaceX for example that's a beautiful thing uh, I think we recently lift, lifted off from US soil two astronauts to the Inter International Space Station we've been getting rides from the Russians since forever since like the, I think they retired the retired something I don't, I don't know all the facts but uh, I don't know if it was a space shuttle or uh, something before that that most of the crew got lifted off on but uh, it's, it's good to see um, movement and progress. Um, I didn't mean to make this video this long. I was going to be something short. Um, <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm trying to put out more videos. I, I record a lot, you know. I, I just don't get the point to the edit them because I'm doing a lot of stuff. Um, always, you know, I work, <laughs> I get home, play games, play multiple games. Um, 
sometimes I'm out and about getting some drone footage, um, hiking. So, uh, yeah, uh, I say until the next video, peace, love, and happiness. Ha, <laughs>